first leg is Boise to Idaho City. It'll be 20 miles of flats and then 20 miles of climbing. And when I get to Idaho City, that is when we hit the stretch to Stanley, which is 84 miles and 6,600 feet of climbing. I have no idea what it's gonna feel like because I have never bike packed in my life. So what am I doing? I have no idea. <laughs> Mythical beast. It's time to see if you can live up to your reputation. I just felt like I needed to take off and get on a bicycle and ride. I have not tested the bike out. This is my first day. I'm just gonna wing it. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, there goes my muffin. I have a history of being a risk taker and flourishing under those circumstances. It creates an excitement of what I'm gonna learn versus a fear. Why don't you repeat what you just said? It was so sweet. You stayed longer than I expected and it's been hard on me psychically, <laughs> which is like kind of a pun because you're on a cycle. That uh, was really good for 6.30 a.m. We're just gonna say I never went to sleep. So if you do need anything and just send me the pictures of what you need and if I happen to be going by you on a motorcycle, I'll just throw them off as I go by. It's like courier delivery. <laughs> oh my God, this video thing. And we're off. I just met Wayne while I made my first bathroom stop. He was admiring my ride. You had done 10 miles uphill and in the wind when I met you at the park. That's right, because he and saw me struggling in the headwind with it was, my- It was awesome. And he was talking about the climb that I have up ahead of me. Oh, there's a climb like starting right there. My first climb. Not a lot of space is there. This requires a cliff shot for sure. into Idaho City. It's really raw. It's like ATV world. Gold mine restaurant. The historic Main Street. Oh my gosh, everybody is just covered in dirt. Most of these chicks could totally kick my ass, I'll tell you that. I'm really standing out right now. Some blonde chick with her purple top. I feel like I should be on a horse. It looks like they had a little festival of selling toys. Oh, well, that's old. It's really bizarre. Idaho world, oh, tax payments. There's the courthouse. Oh, how sweet is that? The original structures. The Judge Halley House, 1867. Blacksmith. Oh my gosh, they kept so many old structures. It's wonderful. So here I am at this random ice cream place and I come out of the restroom and I hear Naomi. And this is Wayne. I can't believe you're already here. <laughs> the odds of running into you, I mean, that's uh, I, amazing. I, I kept wishing I had told you more about the trip ahead. One of the things I wished I would have told you was more my secret hot springs. Oh, your secret I've hot springs. I've never told anybody in 42 years. There's just a wooden tub built down into the rock, the shell rock. Okay. And you can put river water in it. Okay. And it'll cool off the incredibly hot water. Okay. And you can adjust it just like a big bathtub. I've never told anybody where it is because it's my secret gift. Away. But I thought I might give you a map of it if you promise wow, to tell so nobody. Lucky. If you stop recording, I'll give you a hint. Wayne is so, sacrificing his sunblock for me. I Ew. think I will ride up tomorrow and just keep my eyes out. Bye, Wayne. This is supposed to not sweat off me. It's ranked like the best every year, even though it's not my typical zinc oxide. I'm sweating off my sunblock because it's so freaking hot today. I'm dying. 
and 100 degrees. I need to keep pedaling. The water they had at the gas station was slightly carbonated and then I'm climbing. It turned into like a, like a little torpedo. This thing's ready to explode. Barely any water in it. And that's what happened to it. I can't even hear myself. I lost my hearing. My first day, I just stopped. It's like 5.30 because I've been sitting at my tent. I rode 52 miles and like 3,000 feet, a lot more than I thought I would. And this was a perfect time to stop because I was really getting physically tired and I was getting dizzy. There is a fire pit over here. Hopefully no one will pull up tonight because it is Saturday night. But look at this little spot I found. It's tucked in this little pocket, even as a fire pit, a little area where I tucked my bike. No one can really see me if you're coming from either direction because of this drop. I guess I'm allowed to camp here. There's campsites I've passed. I'm trying to save money and not pay. I think I'm okay. Oh, look how clear and beautiful. So I was over here digging around in my kitchen slash bathroom slash office. And I had like this like white dusty stuff. Like when this was open, I'm like, what is that? And they're like, oh, there's like little cotton ball tree next to my bike. No, there is not. Do you see it? It's moving. And I don't know what it is, but it's super cool. It's almost like clear. It's like there's something solid white inside of a clear little set. Oh, look at it go. Oh my gosh, what are you? Now that dinner is simmering, we will head over to pick up my laundry that I left at the sun cleaners. Oh, 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 oh. Look who's hanging out by my laundry. Aww. Hi, Mama dear. Sorry to interrupt you. And yes, I did get naked. Had a great rock to sit on and the cold water to wash all the sweaty salt off my body. It felt so wonderful to have my feet in really cold water. It has a little ways to go. It's not too bad though. That's the thickest item. How's my jersey? That's actually wetter. That's interesting. I would have thought that would have dried the fastest. 